Hello, this is Sophie Lawson from sophielawson.com and this is another click look video where I'm going to take a click look at Bing, another little art book. This one is called Digital Painting Techniques Volume 1 and it is a little book by Freedia Doctor Publishing. This is quite an old one I think. I'm not sure, I think it's 20. 2005 or something, but it's all about digital painting techniques. <laughs> so, because it's quite old, oh, this is going to be amazing. Because it's quite old, I did wonder whether it would be worth uh, worth getting because it might be full of old, out of date information. But we'll have to find out. So, my digital painting skills are super limited. But it's something I'm getting into slowly. That's a nice image, that. Don't normally like blokes, but that's nice brush streaks. But look, I can see what they're going to do. It's going to be, I think it, I read on the back, 25 artists. Hopefully, it's going to be set out like the other books where you, each artist gets its own sort of section or something. Let's have a look and see what we got here. 3D Total Publishing 2009. Oh, that's not too old then. 10 years. That's cool. Sculptor Simon Dominique. So, what do we have? Yes. Chapter 1 Custom Brushes. Chapter 2 Speed Painting. Chapter 3 Matte Painting. Creatures, humans, environments, sci-fi and fantasy, and complete projects. This will be quite interesting, I think, because it looks like each artist is going to give their take on certain things. Hello. <laughs> Love when you see people. Free resources, look. Get free resources. I like that. Custom brushes. I think there's going to be a lot of reading and information in this, so all I'm going to do is go through looking at the images. Just see, it's going to be using quite old software packages. I'm not sure how relevant it will be in the modern day. I think it will still be alright though. Let's have a look, that's nice. See, it'll be quite nice to look at in the, like look at that and be able to work work out how to do it. Yeah, this is gonna be like a proper teaching book. Custom brushes. It's quite amazing what you can do with digital. Huh. It's a brush. <laughs> Looks real. I like that one. I wonder what that is. I think that's a brush. It's crazy. Oh, she's nice. Yeah, this is quite custom brushes for skin. Just shows you how to make a brush. See what they're using in Photoshop. It's nice. Very dreamy. Quite interesting. Everyone's always on podcasts talking about custom brushes. It's like I didn't know where to start with them. Look at That's cool. That's cool. 
Oh look, they put detail there and then blowed out the edges. Alien hot air balloons. <laughs> God, I'd, some of the worlds people create. Nice like this. Flipped it. Yeah, it's gonna be good for the processing. Working out process. Can imagine that. Alien worlds. I feel like that's live. It's like a big creature. Yeah, look at that. Nice feeling. It's pretty mad that. Right? So much to take in with this book. Winter scene. It's crazy. I'm guessing what they're doing is making a photo. I feel like they're making a photo look like a, some sort of scene. I don't know though. Matte painting, I don't even know what matte painting is. <laughs> I'd like to get there. Creatures, hey! Oh, that is crazy. I thought that was the head, but it's actually the head. It's a crazy creature. I love creatures. To be honest with you, that bit there, I have no idea what I was looking at. <laughs> I know that looks good though. Got no idea <clears throat> what that is. Creatures, I love creatures. Very scary. Yay! <laughs> no shape on that. Yeah, I like those. God. Big, big dinosaurs. I love that they're going to show you how to do that. Oh, I feel a little bit sorry for him. Hopefully there's... He looks quite... sad. It's cool. I'm loving that. Yeah, look at the textures on that. Bloody amazing that is. See? Read that, it'll be fascinating. Trying to recreate that. Richard Tilbury. Look into that artist. Nice eyes. I like that. I really like that. Something about it. Ah, oh, wait a minute, what is that? I'm going to see what it says. 
matte painting. What matte painting? What was once a tr traditional art form has now adapted to become a purely digital practice. This very practical discipline allows filmmakers to create scenes that would prove either too expensive or impossible to film and has become one of the staple ingredients in this industry. This chapter, this chapter looks at the techniques behind matte painting and explores the value of photography and painting skills to seamlessly blend two distinct attitudes. Yeah, they must be taking something that's real and making it look fantasy-ish. Beautiful. It always amazes me how something can go from sort of like that to that. Sort of like the details come. That's nice hair, look. That's really nice, that is. Sexy lips. Sexy whips. We got all sexy. Like the shape of that hair. Like that as well. Sexy lips. This is gonna, yeah, I'm gonna enjoy this. <laughs> oh, look at that. It starts out like that. It's mental. Fascinating, look. It looks like a completely different person there. Yeah, I like that. I quite like that one. Old shadow. I think I would have kept it like that. That's cool, isn't it? When you're working digitally, you can start changing things. Realistic skin. Again, it would be fascinating to read. God, amazing. Eyeballs. Eyeballs are amazing, really. A little bit of theory going on. <laughs> Lots of little resources you can download. Environments. Oh, that's nice, that. Actually, my f oh, this is fascinating. Look, it's the same scene with different atmosphere, normal glow effect, amazingly better with the glow effect. I reckon you're going to pick up so many little tips in here. That'd be quite fun to do. Turn the same scene into different things. Another rainy day. I like that. Just the other day, because it was raining outside, I was walking to work and it's raining and it's quite dark. A police car come down. Like the whole street lit up with blue, but you could see the. It was amazing. The whole. Yeah, it was amazing. It was like the whole world became blue from this light. I was watching it flashing on and off, the whole... It was quite amazing, the whole street was lit blue. That's why I like it when it rains, because light... 
comes alive in the rain. Sci-fi and fantasy. He looks like a hard bastard. <laughs> it's fascinating seeing it come together. I'm not into Blake, so that's what she said. <laughs> that's funny. Planets. That's cool. I hope one day, I hope one day whilst I'm still alive, <coughs> we get to, that's nice, travel into space and like create a little colony on another planet. I want to, I want to live in the, I want to live in the future like that. We've all got little hover bikes and stuff. Although it doesn't look very happy place, does it? Because no trees. That's nice. Huh. I quite like it like that. Got no details at all. Itchy head. Hmm. It's quite funny. God, there's so much detail in it. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. So much detail in this book. Love that. Three D modelling. <laughs> look. Acting out the scene. <laughs> One of my, well, Art Ian Barlow, who was teaching me life drawing a few months ago, he said a quote which stuck with me. He said, if you can feel it, you can draw it. Which reminds me of that. Like, he's trying to feel the pose so that you can draw it. Asian fish market. That wasn't a good sound, was it? <laughs> Guild Wars. I played that. Birdie. Birdies. Bloody weird though. Huh, that's very weird. Lovely shape. I like things when they're in the darkness. It's mysterious. God, I mean, I can't. how long must that take to put together? It take ages. It's cool creatures. Oh, don't like that. I like the character. I don't like that. Like, I don't mind death, I just I don't think I don't know. Violence, I guess. Not a level of violence. Size of that look, look at little people. Guild Wars. Oh I love that. That's cool as well. 
It's funny. Yeah. I could imagine <laughs> giants. Apparently giants used to live on the earth. Probably still do. Monkey. <laughs> it's cool. Yay, I love it when they do that. All the little artists. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da. And that's that. Oh, that's quite cool. So if you say you want to... Yeah. If you're interested in drawing lips, page 106 to 107, page 132 to 135, 155 to 156, 106 to 107. Let's go to 106. Lips. Not those sort of lips. 132. 132. Yeah, big lips. That's quite good then. Female portraits. So you can actually search for what you. Cool, look, digital art masters. And that is that. Web resources. She is cool. I always love to see what other artists are up to, how they work their magic. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. It was a little quick look at digital painting techniques. Bing! I'm going to go and do this one now, which is. Volume number eight. So we're going to jump from volume one to volume eight. I'll be back in a minute with that one. See you later for that. <laughs>